Rub the other Dr. Pepper. Mm, mm, mm. Dr. Pepper was for first formulated in 1885 by Brooklyn born pharmacist Charles Alderton in Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore in Waco, Texas. To test his new drink, he first offered it to the store owner, Wade Morrison, who also found it to his liking. Patrons at, Mor patrons at Morrison's Soda Fountain soon learned of Alderton's new drink and began ordering a Waco. Alderton gave the formula to Morrison, who named it Dr. Pepper, later stylized as Dr. Pepper. Very, very interesting. I always love to learn the history behind the drinks, sodas, beers, food items. And what do you think about Dr. Pepper? I've drank it over the years. I was born in 68. My grandmother, she used to love to drink a Dr. Pepper and uh, eat a Butterfinger at the same time. And she lived to be in her 90s. So go ahead, all you uh, health, food, health food junkies, health food fanatics, and say big O, they're bad for you. I agree. I don't drink that many sodas myself or beverages, uh, carbonated sodas or beverages or Cokes, because they are bad for you. But if you got some kind of self-control like I do, you can drink them every now and then. But this brings back memories in the 70s. My grandmother, I'd walk up to the store and she'd want a six pack of Dr. Peppers and she'd always want a Butterfinger. She'd open up the orange looking wrapper on the Butterfinger. She'd pop the top on the Dr. Pepper. And it was history, people. One chomp at a time, one swallow at a time. On Big O's food rating scale, one to 10, where did I rate this beverage? I rated it a six. I like it, especially on a hot summer day, but it's not my favorite soda or my favorite as up north, up north like in states like Iowa, New York, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Delaware, they call soda a fair pop. So what, what's your favorite soda? What's your favorite pop? Mine's definitely not Dr. Pepper, but I, it, I like it okay. I like it pretty good. I give it a six. So it's always interesting knowing the history behind the products that it was started in 1885 at Morrison's Corner uh, Drug Store. And Mr. Alderton, the Brooklyn-born pharmacist, I cannot believe that he gave the uh, formula to his friend. And I guess, basically, I'd say probably Mr. Morrison's when it made the most money off the beverage. I hope everybody's had a wonderful day. I hope everybody has a, has a sen sense of humor. Look at things that, from a positive standpoint. Be happy. Choose to be happy. Don't let nobody else around you rob you of your happiness. Uh, if you're not happy, it's like living in the closet. You're miserable, people. you got to be happy. I understand we go through difficult things in life, but be happy. I don't need to run on and on. This is a review about the Dr. Pepper. I like to give my little advice sometimes my little out like outtake in life my, my outlook in life in my videos i guess i've thrown a little blog in here thanks for watching what do you think about dr pepper down in the comments below please tell me what's your favorite soda your favorite coke how often do you drink them what do you think about dr pepper uh if there's any product or any foods you'd like me to review please let me know like at any restaurants a big mac tomorrow somebody wants me to review mcdonald's tea they're selling them for, selling them for 25 cents i do that thanks for watching it's the big old show please subscribe if you have it already please push the notification bell so you get future notifications share my videos let's grow together we're we are a community i love everybody i love everyone thanks for watching the big old show thanks for watching my dr pepper review i'm out one sip at a time